How's it going guys? Chaos Prime here with the final of the four Javelin videos. Thick Boy is in town and this tank earns its name, the Colossus, a hulking war machine designed to clear out entire hives of vicious predatory fauna. With mounted artillery, heavy arms, and when you just thought that was enough already, it even has a flamethrower. It's got reinforced armor plating, it's got jet propulsion, it's got a cannon, I'm pretty sure it even has a cup holder. It really doesn't, but at the same time, it really should, because, well, you know, at this point, why not? If you're looking to trample through the wilderness in comfort and heavy artillery strapped to your back, the Colossus is for you. The Colossus represents everything you would come to expect from the name Thick Boy. Raw firepower. Heavy, as it's thick, right? strong and stable. This javelin is capable of withstanding high amounts of damage. It is also perfect for players who have adopted the brutal gameplay style. Its heavy armor allows the mighty Colossus to mitigate incoming attacks while at the same time elegantly hand out high amounts of pain with its deadly heavy weapons, making this javelin an unstoppable war machine. Michael, Ben, Jonathan, Dara, if you're listening, make a Hulkbuster full body decal. This Colossus needs this and the community want it. The Colossus cannot use two of the smallest weapon types, pistols and SMGs, but it is the only javelin sturdy enough to wield any of the heavy weapons. So whereas the other three javelins couldn't use a heavy weapon, this one can't use SMGs or a pistol, but it does finally get to use the heavy weapons. So let's get more acquainted with the Colossus and its skills. So like the previous three javelins, let's check out the Colossus's javelin abilities and gear mods. Melee ability, heavy smash, dives and smashes the ground, knocking down forces and killing weaker enemies instantly, creating an opportunity for a follow up attack, which is pretty much your combo. Next we move on to the Ordnance Launcher gear, shoulder mounted weapons capable of dishing out insane amounts of damage, insane amounts of firepower. We have High Explosive Mortar, launches an explosive projectile that deals heavy area of effect damage. Next up, we have Burst Mortar, fires a volley of smaller mortars that spread out to pummel a wider area of effect. High Explosive Mortar is more concentrated, Burst Mortar is more widespread and AoE. Firewall Mortar, fires a specialized mortar round that ignites a wall of flame, heavily damaging enemies that try to move through it. Again, extremely defensive, but highly potent. Lightning Coil strikes a single random target with an arc of electricity in front of the Colossus, prioritizing targets with status effects. What this essentially does is it prioritizes those with an electrical debuff that it can actually go and do more damage to and dish out again high amounts of damage. So from the Ordnance Gear Launcher, you can see that not only does it have offensive capabilities in the mortar range with the high explosive mortar, the burst mortar, but it also has defensive and subdued abilities with the firewall mortar, lightning coil, and the shock coil. Shock coil emits waves of electricity out from the Colossus, damaging all nearby enemies, which is again another useful AoE. As it's electrical and a shock, this may very well paralyze or stun the enemies around you, giving an opening for the rest of the team to get in. Next we have the Heavy Assault Launcher Gear, wrist mounted weapons that complement the Colossus destructive power. You have Heavy Cannon, fires a large rocket in a targeted direction. Flamethrower, unleashes a continuous stream of fire to ignite enemies. Flat Cannon, barrages nearby enemies with a short range arc of projectiles. Railgun, giving you that Tony Montana feel, devastates a single target with a forceful and precision kinetic round. Acid Splitter, expels an acid projectile to damage enemies. This also primes the targets as well. Now unlike the previous three javelins, the support gear for Colossus is very very different. So now let's move on to support gear, the abilities that allow the Colossus to help other teammates in battle. So the Colossus is the only javelin that can use taunt. It forces all enemies within a certain radius to divert their attacks to the Colossus, hence giving it that tank roll even more and emphasizing why it's valuable in every team. We know that the Storm, the Ranger and the Interceptor all are pretty weak defensively, especially the Storm. So having a javelin there 
as a tank, as a Hulkbuster, as a Hulk war machine that can basically taunt, grab the attention and devastate and deal pain is definitely going to be something you want in your team. It also has Deflector Pulse which gives all nearby allies a damage resistance buff. Again, this emphasizes how much this class is needed, especially when you're going to do the strongholds. You do want something that can increase your defensive buff while you're moving around. You want something that can hold hate. All in all, the Colossus is just amazing. It really is. And though I was originally in love with the Storm, after watching the Colossus and going through the skills and listening to what I've been hearing, I think the Fit Boy might be finally laying, you know, it, it, it's growing on me. Its ultimate ability, the Siege Cannon, is a devastating firepower at the click of a button. As you can see, it's just absolutely manic. It just fires a focused target shot into the cave, as you see on screen, and it absolutely devastates everything for maximum impact, max damage, and it is AoE. I think this will probably be the first javelin I try when the demo comes out. You let me know what you think. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, drop a thumbs up. I am sorry this was supposed to come out a couple days ago, but I do have a couple more videos coming over the next day or so, so please do look out for those. I'm covering the Fort Tarsis and the clans and guilds and everything else. I'm also covering the Division with its new story trailer, so do look out for that as well. And until the next video, Leave a comment in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are regarding the Colossus. Has it won you over? Has it done enough? For me, I think it might have just done enough to win me over. Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Remain Legend.